Hey dudes, today I want to talk about a very useful third-party plugin that's created by Isotope, and it is going to be called D Mouth Click. So when you get those in your dialogue, and of course we never never want those because they don't sound pretty, we're going to use this plugin to remove them. So let's jump right into it. So some of you might be following along from my playlist video where I had this beautiful mouth click that I did not remove in that video. Welcome back if you're joining from that video. If you haven't seen the other video, I do recommend you check it out because before we do any denoising, I always recommend you create a new playlist. But let's just jump into it because it's a pretty easy way to fix this with mouth declick. So I'm going to go to audio suite, noise reduction, or if you have your plugins organized by category and manufacturer, which I covered in my settings and preferences video, you can go to Isotope, which is the brand that creates this, which is also a good thing to say here that this is not a stock plugin that comes with Pro Tools. This is something that you have to buy through Isotope. But here we go. Mouth D-click is what we're looking for. So a pretty simple interface that comes up here, which is great. You got to love that course there's our problem child there so you can do this two ways you can select the entire track if you'd like to but oftentimes I like to just select a sample size where the problem is and then try to remove it from where the problem area is and then maybe just do a couple little crossfades to clean it up so I'm just gonna hit render on the stock setting and you can see that it knocked down that mouth click a lot it's not gone, but that was a lot better than that sort of smack. So there's clicks, smacks, all kinds of different ways that we can describe this. Uh, we can skew the frequency towards more low frequencies or high frequencies. We can also just sort of adjust the sensitivity of how hard it's going to try. And then also this is going to widen the area here of what it's going to try to repair. So it's going to start with a very narrow area because it's not trying to remove, you know, all of the vocal dialogue, EQ, everything. It's just trying to isolate where this sort of bad mouth click is. So let's render with just a couple of changes there. Looks like it went away mostly. It's very light like that. But I also just wanted to show you that you can also click on the preset manager here and you can click on something like reduce smacks because it pretty much sounded like I was smacking. And then here is what they feel like a smack looks like or a removal of a smack looks like with settings. So we can render again. Yeah, that's pretty much gone. So I think I will just do a batch fade here. Usually I'll just do Command F. It brings up this screen. Uh, a little bit of trivia is that I found out 44 milliseconds is approximately one frame when working at 24 frames a second. You don't have to do that, but I do recommend that you do an equal power as opposed to an equal gain crossfade to keep that nice and tight and neat. And that just crossfades those together. Creating a playlist is important. So keep in mind with denoising, I always use the word attenuate, which is basically to push down or remove as much as possible. It's completely acceptable, in my opinion, to remove as much as possible and not fix perfectly, basically. It was a problem. We've made the problem better, and you should feel happy about that because this is much more acceptable than what our original recording was with that very loud mouth click. If we go back to this, create much better, much more out of the way. We can pay much more attention to the story and everything else that's going on and think less about the problem of the mouth click. All right, there you have it. That's how you use mouth declick via the Isotope RX suite. Remember, this is not a stock plugin that comes with Pro Tools, but it's a high recommendation for me. And in this suite, there is lots of plugins that I'm not only going to cover on this channel, but I also use on a pretty much daily basis. So if you can swing it, try to get that RX Advanced 
sweet through isotope. Also, try to make sure that you always use this mouth declick denoise function because nobody wants in their mixes. Until next video, later dudes.